Alright, so an uh, old uh, friend and co-worker of ours from Fleetwood Homes, he does uh, uh, glass frosting, uh, I think in his spare time, and uh, he made us a mirror. It's all lit up in color, we're going to pick this up, and uh, we'll show you guys what this looks like. Uh, don't know if you'll get a medium or not, don't even know if it'll be there, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Stay tuned. All right, we're here with Paul. <laughs> and we picked it. Picked up the mirror that he made. And he's telling us about all these ones he's making. So how long you been doing this, Paul? Uh, up and on about 20 years. What's the, what's the coolest one you've made? I don't know. Cause they're... Personally. Personally? Yeah. Um, I think... Uh, painted ones stuff I have painted and this is just sandblasted yeah so when you paint it all this is colored yep and the light shines through the paint then it can that's cool yeah he was it's telling me that you light. got ideas for all kinds of things in the frame decorative things on the outside of the frame and then all kinds of different uh, light plays with light with paint and the blasting and all kinds of stuff so we're going to show you this in full effect when we get plugged in at home but this thing lights up looks sweet and uh he can make you one in any size huh pretty much any size he was talking about a four foot by four foot one he's making for a business probably and um i think this is a really good size for at a house 12 by 12 get any size for your business and this all lights up multiple colors right yeah with this remote yeah but they're small enough too that people could hang them in their rvs and camper oh yeah rvs and camper life yeah i had a few out at uh, indian springs campground yeah but they're like cheesing pretty hard on that and we sent him this design and he took our design and made that out of it so he can pretty much take anything you can send him he can make one which I think is amazing. And uh, I did not expect this. This was, I just expected a glass, frosted glass. He did an entire frame, with hangers on the back, and the whole uh, light setup, which is amazing. So, way more than I expected. <laughs> which is cool, though. Yeah. And he's got all kinds of ideas for things coming up. I love uh, craft art. I like doing different stuff. Like I want to make the next one better than the one I just did. Right. That's how I like. That's your. I don't, I don't like to give somebody here's just something. If it if, I, if it looks good on my wall, I feel happy giving it, fat, you know, selling it. Right. And your challenge is making it a little bit different than you did before. Yeah. So it doesn't get boring for you. That's yes. your fun. Yeah. <laughs> I get that. I understand that as an artist. That's great. I'm the exact same way. And you, I find that I take that aspect in every bit of my life. If I'm doing the same thing over and over, yeah. I want to change it up a little bit. Right, so it's not the same. Mo monotonous, I yeah. guess. Yeah. I like got to stay creative and keep those creative juices flowing, I guess. Yep. That's what it feels like, anyway. Right. right. <laughs> to me. So. And then that's the next. Some dogs barking when you get back. That's here. okay. We're going to go check out a manzebo. <laughs> I don't know what a manzebo is, but. It's kind of a country theme shaped spot. Oh. Like a man cave, but a zebo. Yeah. That's cool. I did have a horse trough slash pool. Oh, yeah. Had it hooked up, but. Like Nobody really got stay into cool. it, so I'm like, all right, we'll put it up till next year. Yeah, it stays pretty cool. Heck yeah. We were just talking about making one of those out of those galvanized, the big galvanized silo things, making yeah. a hot tub out of them. Yeah, that's, uh, cool. 
300 gallon pool at a pump. I made my own filter, but Tater wouldn't come out and play in it, so. Very cool. I was like, man, it's a nice little hideaway spot. Yeah, this is nice. It does look nice. The burnt wood. Where's those right Get yeah, mad if skinny. the food bowl was low. Like, there's some in it. But if it was low, it'd be like, It's not enough. I don't want to bend my neck down to eat. Fill it. <laughs> Duke's found a new friend. I don't know which one has more energy. <laughs> Duke, Duke made a great new friend over there. We'll call him A or Tater. Uh, that was the younger uh, kid there. And Paul, we had a good talk with him. Paul is so creative. Uh, he's always thinking of stuff. Uh, always coming up with stuff on top of his head. He's always been that way. Uh, I really enjoyed talking to him. He did give us a couple extra pieces. Um, and I'll show you those when we get home and I can show you the lights on the full sign of it, the full sign of the one we went to pick up. But uh, he said these 12 by 12s are around forty dollars, and then he makes some bigger ones for um, somewhere up to around two hundred dollars. But uh, multicolored, the, the lights will dance to music or sound, um, and he can do a lot of different things than just frost in the glass. So. Uh, he goes above and beyond, and he, he can pretty much figure out any design that you'd want him to figure out. And I'm sure you'll be very happy with anything you got from him. So I'm going to show you some of his uh, Facebook pages and some of the pictures and, and uh, designs that he's done already.
I don't know how much I'll be able to find, but what I can, he said I was more welcome to put up there. And uh, hopefully he's gonna come over and we're gonna have a cookout later. We, we talked about having a cookout together with his family and ours sometime before winter. So hopefully that'll happen and you'll get to see him again. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Stay tuned to see all this stuff here right after this. See you then. Find the art and everything. All right, so here's our uh, piece that he made for us. We sent him a PNG, and he took it and cut it out and sandblasted it right to our logo. So I really like this. But let's just see what the lights look like on it. Ooh, there's red. Blue. Green. Yellow, oh, I like that one, cyan, orange, that's my favorite, I love it, looks nice, purple, and then you can do a uh, orange, so that's really cool it kind of changes fades and dances with the music bonus ones he gave us this uh bear with the wildlife theme in the background i really love it and it's got like a glitter in it that looks like hair can you see that and look at this peacock and this one's just like a you know it's got rubber things on it. it's more like for uh putting your drink on It like gives it a whole nother dimension. Another dimension. Another dimension. There you can see it. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you find the art and everything. It's art! We don't make mistakes, just happy accidents.